It's your boy Ingun in the house, back with another bang on video by ladies and gentlemen. Well, this is what Mikel Arteta said about Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang after the win against Everton. He says, I'm so happy with Oba because he's scoring very important goals and as a captain, he's giving a great example to everyone. He is willing to work. And Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang actually posted this on his official Twitter account, that winning mood. And the best part is that most Premier League goals since Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has stepped his foot in the Premier League, it is just one person, I'm not sorry, two, Mohamed Salah and Pierre Megabamia. Well, did you know who Eddie and Ketia was calling? Oh my god, lovely, lovely, unbelievable. And the best part is, ladies and gentlemen, uh, assists all competitions in 2019-2020. Uh, the, the first on the list is Kevin De Bruyne with 17. And Bukaya Saka has actually registered, registered double figures in assists this season and that's that is unbelievable and here's what i can't have actually come to know that arsenal's love for thomas Pate have made them come back for him and it looks like thomas uh, thomas's priority is to remain at El atletico he has a contract until 2023 but thomas Pate's agents have already been in london to listen to arsenal and a number of former arsenal players have recommended ben rama to arsenal board arsenal have been watching the player closely this season unbelievable to say Let's see what's going to happen or not. Well, jumping into the week, ladies and gentlemen, Cedric Soares has uh, uh, actually posted this on his official Twitter account. Twitter, Twitter account you know, my, uh, hashtag Monday motivation. He is actually getting ready to make sure that things are happening. And the best part is, well, uh, Pierre Mikovamianga scored 49 goals in 74 Premier League games for Arsenal. Huddersfield have scored 50 goals in 76 Premier League games. That that right there is the stat and that is insane and uh, another insane player who really improved incredibly under Mikel Arteta it's Granit Xhaka 990 mm. minutes played 904 touches 665 accurate passes 8 key passes 48 accurate long balls 1 big chance created 59 duels won 22 clearances 6 blocks 9 interceptions 17 tackles won one goal line clearance proving a lot of people wrong ladies and gentlemen he's been unbelievable and i really really i'm, I'm really happy the way things have been uh, lately but the 18 year old uh bukai osaka naturally winger has been uh, you know he's been playing at the left back and he's got his netted three goals and getting nine assists across all competitions plus one this season and it looks like arsenal fans are actually calling uh you know the england uh england international team to carry him or to take him to the UEFA European Championships. One fan, Twitter fan said that, has Saka got a chance of being called up to England this summer or am I overreacting? Well, you are overreacting. I'm sorry. But moving on. Well, Brentford being aside, Ben Ram has reportedly caught the eye of some of the Arsenal players with French football reporting that they have even made recommendations to the club to sign the Algerian international. Wow. Well, he's got 10 goals and 6 assists so far in the championship and putting on some eye-watering displays. Best part is his dribbling. That's unbelievable. And uh, Gary Neville has labeled Pierre Emerick Aubameyang as world-class following his double against Everton. He says, including me, we have stopped short of announcing Aubameyang as world-class. We're happy to go with Sergio Aguero. We're happy to go with Ari Mane and Mohamed Salah, Roberto Firmino, Harry Kane. All these players who have graced the Premier League in the last two or three seasons. I feel that Aubameyang doesn't get that same credit and maybe it's something that comes from when when he entered first uh, in England football it was a case of uh, who, why didn't any one of the top clubs want him how did Arsenal get him is there anything wrong with him why didn't Jurgen Klopp take him to Anfield all these questions were being asked I asked them myself but now we're talking about a really high level of performance over a couple of years um, and against Everton I thought it was a brilliant performance from him not just his goals but he really took well but all that shift that he put in, this performance from Aubameyang is unbelievable over two and a half years. He's not mentioned as world class. We don't mention him as a Premier League great, but I think we have to. Yes, put some respect on that name. P.A. Emrick Aubameyang, well, last season's Golden Boot winner. Right now, he's leading the uh, Golden Boot race. Yes, put some damn respect on my striker's name. Well, Arsenal striker, Eddie Nketi has claimed that his loan spell at Leeds helped him prepare to battle with Alexander Lacazette for the starting position at the Emirates. He says, my Leeds experience was good for me. I learned as a player. I might not have played as much as I wanted, but I had good moments when I was there, when I came on and played, and it's just about learning and developing. 
it started really well but obviously i came on and I, if you check my minutes to go ratio it's quite good but obviously it's just how things are sometimes the manager makes his decisions and you have to deal with it it's about learning from that environment it's a very good environment to be in uh, marcelo bielsa is a very demanding coach and i learned a lot and also grandshark has admitted the fact that he would be reluctant to take back the arsenal captaincy on a permanent basis if he was offered it again he says of course i don't like there was a moment because it was not easy for me and my family i hope people understand this but i think i showed my character i am not a guy who runs away i always said to the club when i'm here i'm ready to give everything it was like this always i played very hard and the things turned around is the key this has given me the most happiness well these were the news of the day i hope you enjoyed whatever came your way all the views and the best part is that i just forgot to tell you that blaise matuidi has finally entered his final year of his contract and Arsenal and Manchester United are interested in him. Do let me know in the comment section if you want him at Arsenal or not. Well, I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon because when you do that, you get two videos about Arsenal every single day and much love from my side as well. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.